Nastia Lucan for our next five questions. If you don't know who she is, first of all, you're crazy, but she's a five-time Olympic medalist, NBC sports commentator, prominent Instagrammer. <laughs> yes, I follow you. Sorry if that's crazy. I'll follow you back. Here's a question. What is it like wearing a leotard all the time on <laughs> national TV? It's my worst nightmare. I, you know what? Now looking back at it, absolutely my worst nightmare. But because I think I started wearing a leotard when I was three years old, it was just like, you know, my, my uniform. Like I never thought twice about it until when I took a break from gymnastics and not wearing a leotard for a few years and then having to get back in one, I was just like, oh my God, I'm like, people are watching me. I'm like, this is so weird. You're just like constantly thinking about it. But um, I think that's why it's so important to have like self-confidence from within because as long as you're confident um, about yourself and your body, I guess that's the only thing you can really worry about. You were always really good at the balance beam. That I was mean, my favorite. Among everything. It was your favorite. <laughs> yeah, it was my favorite. Are you is there anything that you have trouble balancing in real life? Everything Deep else. Question. No, really, everything else. It's funny because especially with the Winter Olympics, um, figure skating has always been one of my favorite sports to watch and I've tried to get on ice and it's so funny because immediately I'm like, I have the worst balance ever and everyone says I can't even say that doing all the things I do on a balance beam, but when I get oh, on I ice, <laughs> when I get on ice for some reason, like I guess in gymnastics you're supposed to keep your shoulders back and you're like really good posture and figure skating you're supposed to be like a little bit like, like over your knees, I don't know, something. All the skaters have tried to explain it to me and I just can't, I keep falling backwards. If you were gonna go back and do a gymnastics routine, maybe a floor routine mm -hmm. or a beam routine, um, is there a song that you would want them to play that would never be allowed by officials? Well, we're not allowed to use any songs with words. So basically that goes like every song out there except for classical music. Um, but I just did, I actually just did a routine to Young and Beautiful, the Lana Del Rey song, okay. which I love doing that. It was like, I, I feel like you can like, it's like so much more inspirational than like a song without words because you can actually like get into it and get into the words and like the meaning of the song. And I would definitely use Young and Beautiful as my floor routine if I could use a song that had words in it. Not Beyonce? Oh, Beyonce, ooh, that's a tough one. Halo would be a good one because it's like graceful and kind of pretty. Like my style, it's not like, hip I could never do like a hip hop routine. I'm more like artistic and graceful and like the ballerina type, but yeah. Uh, yeah. As gymnastics is. Yeah, but like I guess it's different. A lot of, some athlete, gymnasts especially, are definitely more powerful. That was always my struggle. Like I had no power, no strength. All I had was like the flexibility. I don't buy it. <laughs> the no flexibility. Power, no, no. What is the most common thing that people ask you to do or say to you when they see you on the street and recognize you? I guess they just say, oh my God, you're that gymnast. <laughs> and I'm like, yes. Actually, I take that back. It's, you're the girl on the subway commercials. <laughs> I get that all the time now. Um, I get so many tweets about the subway commercial. It's so funny, but. Um, That's it, crazy. It is crazy. I'm like, I also, I competed in the Olympics. <laughs> okay, for this last section of the interview, it's something I like to call this or that. And I'm gonna <laughs> say two things, and okay. you tell me which one you prefer, okay. for whatever reason. Ryan Lochte or Michael Phelps? Michael Phelps. Nicest guy you'll ever meet. I was just with him last week, so. Okay, Apollo Ono or Sean White? That's a tough one. Um, I don't know Sean as well, so I guess I'll go with Apollo. Jay-Z or Kanye? <sighs> Jay-Z. You got a little nervous for that one, I could tell. I did, I was like, oh, on the spot, Jay-Z for sure. I know you watch The Bachelor, so yes. Sean Lowe or Juan Pablo? That's tough, um, I don't know. Sean, Sean is from Dallas, so I feel like I have to go with him. What? Yeah, I think I have to go with Sean. Oh, don't worry, <laughs> don't worry Juan Pablo, I'm going with you. Okay. All right, so Team Fitz or Team Jake? Oh, definitely Team Fitz. Scandalous. Me too. <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal or Ryan Gosling? Oh, that's a tough one. I think I'd go with Jake. That's crazy. <laughs> Are you team Ryan? I'm, I thought everyone was team Ryan. Really? Everyone in the office said this isn't even a question. Oh my God, maybe I should say team no, Ryan now. <laughs> it's okay. No, I'm gonna stick to my gut, team Jake. <laughs>